Hi, and welcome back to Liz Art Studios. Today, we are going to do the second part of our stamping, and today we are going to be rubbing. So we made a stamp the other day in a symmetrical style, and today we are going to be doing rubbings to finish our artwork, okay? So, we're going to do that in cool colors. So I'll tell you all about it right now. But first, let me tell you what materials you're going to need. Voila, I have them here for you today, yes. Today you are going to be needing some texture, some different types of textures from around the house. This is from an apple, this is an apple covering. So I went to the market and I bought some apples, they were wrapped and I took this, I cut it up and I saved it. Then this is from a box that I opened up and this texture was on the box. So for rubbings, we need textures, okay? So anything that you could find. And this is a, um, a plastic piece that where the glue sticks come in. So all the glue sticks come here, and then I took the glue sticks out and I saved it. So this is what you need for today from your house. So you need to take this from your house, bring it to school, to school put it in a tray, okay? In any type of tray and just save the pieces, a bigger tray, save the pieces so you can use it in the classroom, okay? You also need some crayons. I think this time I'm gonna use oil pastel crayons because they rub really well. So try to get some oil pastel crayons, okay, for this project. You're gonna need a glue stick, you're gonna need scissors, well, your size scissors, okay? I use big scissors, but you can use smaller scissors, all right, that's fine. And you are going to need, of course, your symmetrical design that you did last time and that we saved so it would dry okay so let's begin okay so you're gonna need white paper for today also because you know just a flexible white paper not cardboard paper but the flexible one because like that we could rub better okay so what is a rubbing well a rubbing is when you take a paper that is soft like this and thin you put it against something and you rub with the crayon and it comes out. So let me show you, it's very simple. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, for example, this texture. We're gonna put it underneath our paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub. We're gonna use three, three colors today. Three cool colors. Cool colors are the ones that make you feel cold. When you are in a place that is cold, you feel cold and the colors that you see all around you are blues and purples and maybe some light greens and dark greens and grays. Ooh, like in the winter. Okay, so we're gonna use those colors. So, you're gonna take your crayons, for example, I'm gonna take this first one, it's a very light blue. And what I wanna do is take the, um, take this thing out, okay? Because I'm gonna use the side of it, okay? So, and you're gonna do two. So we're gonna use the side. I'm gonna put, see I put the texture below. Now I put the paper on top. I use the side of the crayon. And look what comes out. The texture comes out. So the, the softer you rub, okay, you're not gonna have lines if you rub soft. If you rub a little harder, then lines are gonna come out, okay? So that's fine, you have this texture now on this paper. You're gonna take another one and you're gonna rub, you're gonna put it aside, all right? You're gonna take another texture, for example, this one right here. You're gonna take another white paper, okay? And like this one fits in the paper four times, you're gonna do it four times. You're gonna try to fill up the whole paper with the texture so you could use it, and your classmates could use it later. So if you're in a group of four people, let's say you could do one texture each and then you share okay the, the textures so for example now i'm going to use purple or this uh purple violet I, well i broke it's okay if it breaks it don't, don't, it doesn't matter so i'm going to take this side that has been broken and has no paper and i am going to rub against my texture here okay against my object and i just finished that I'm gonna do it on the other side of the paper too. So I move the paper over, see? I just need to hold it down. All right, now all pastels are messy. They're very messy, they are. 
but I just love them because the textures come out nicer and and a little bit darker too see so just I'm gonna finish this now take this rubbing and you put it also to the side and you're gonna take another color okay this time I'm gonna take some green okay and we love green in this art studios okay <laughs> we just love it and I'm gonna take another paper okay and I'm gonna take my last um, texture right here I'm gonna put it on the bottom all right and I'm gonna open it up. So be on the lookout for textures, teachers and students. Because we're gonna use them more times this year. So be on the lookout for them. Okay, and now let's see magic. Watch. And now I'm gonna put this also to the side and I'm gonna tidy up just a little bit to show you the next step, okay? Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is take our art piece okay our symmetrical um, stamping that we did last time and today we are going to do something else all right we're gonna do symmetry also but today we're gonna take our textures that we have done I'm gonna put the, the symmetry piece here and we are going to cut we're gonna cut in different lines okay remember that we had looked at lines at zigzag lines at curved lines at different types of lines so we're gonna cut like that so if I turn this around okay if I turn my piece around and I take a pencil okay this is a way to do it and I make some zigzag lines okay all right let me make another one why not and I cut on this zigzag lines look what happens okay okay so I have these two forms that are really 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 cool and I could use them to finish off my work with symmetry so look what I'm going to do I am going to cut maybe the end right here okay and I'm not gonna make it so long I'm just gonna have some symmetry here and maybe this one here you could come off the page it's okay it doesn't matter if you if your work comes off the page all right artists are always inventing new things and their artwork could come off the page I take this one right here also and I cut it also as well and I make two pieces <clears throat> that come off this way and off this way now this is not perfect symmetry like my face is not perfectly symmetrical that's why I'm so beautiful <laughs> not really okay so this is what I'm gonna do symmetry here and symmetry here with cool colors all right what do I do I glue this down so I take my glue stick and I just glue on this side where it's gonna be glued down now like I have leftovers here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut four circles all of these circles why not and I'm gonna put oh look hold on a second see I'm gonna cut these here and I'm gonna think where I could place them. Look, I could place two right here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller. See, and I'm gonna put them right here for symmetry because one side will be the same as the other. And then I am going to cut these out. Look at this. Like, if they were like little squares. And look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them on either side coming out of the paper. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Now I'm gonna take this one right here that is blue, this pattern of blue, and I'm gonna just make straight lines. I'm gonna cut straight lines. So I'm gonna take this, okay? 
I'm gonna cut the top because it's like white. I don't want that. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut right down here so it could be equal size. And I'm gonna make equal size. And now that I have all of these, I'm gonna see where I could place them. Oh, look at that, that's really cool. And this is really cool. And if I put another one here, it will be really cool. And look, and I have to do the same on the other side. And how about if I put another one here? And another one here. Oh yes, that would be awesome. So let me glue this down. Okay, so now look at what I have here. It's a symmetrical piece. It's just fantastic. Look at that, how it's coming out. And I have one more rubbing, which is the green one. And I think I am just going to make uh, little squares with this and just place them in four parts of my, of my um, art piece because it's pretty much finished, okay? Okay guys, so now we have this beautiful work of art. I take my pencil and I'm going to put here 19 again because my name is already here. Okay, so I could finish it off. So, I am finished and you are finished too. So let's review. Last time in the last session that we had last week, we made some stamping in a symmetrical design. We let it dry. We did that in warm colors on a blue paper, on a blue cardboard paper. Today, we have made some rubbings on white paper, okay? And we cut them out in different types of lines and shapes so we could glue them on our symmetrical design. And this is what we have. So, you have a masterpiece of a symmetrical design enjoy it put it up in your classroom put it up in the hallways show it to a friend give it to somebody as a present enjoy it guys i'll see you next week with another project so be good and i'll see you then bye bye